Look, if they have horse dancing in the Olympics, we definitely should have pro wrestling. But how would pro wrestling work as an Olympic sport? Who would represent Team USA? Heck, who would represent some of the major players around the world in professional wrestling for their country? All those answers coming up soon. First, my name's Michael, and welcome to Suplex. So I know the knee-jerk reaction is, well, Michael, pro wrestling's predetermined. How do you decide who wins the gold medal? We are not going to decide as wrestling country versus country, as this is going to be more of a team event. I am proposing three separate divisions, men's singles, women's singles, and an open tag division. By that, I mean each country is going to send two wrestlers for their singles division, and those two are going to lay out a match for the judges telling them we're doing X, Y, and Z moves. Those moves will be given a degree of difficulty. Then those judges will watch that performance, giving them an execution score, how well they did those moves. Obviously, points are going to be taken off if uh, we go out of bounds, aka outside of the ring, or over time, because each match will have an allotted time. And then, obviously, for m missed moves or botches, those are going to be points deductions as well. So even though professional wrestling is more than just in-ring action, the Olympics version of professional wrestling solely focuses on in-ring action. When other sports start bringing in promos, then we'll start factoring in promos into the pro wrestling Olympics. You know, when Simone Biles says, Biles 316 says, I just whooped your ass. Okay, then we can factor in promos. But until that, it's just in-ring action. And given that, who would be on Team USA? I think it is an absolute no-brainer who the first pick is. And that's the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. He's the most technically sound wrestler America may have ever ever produced. Brian Danielson can't do it by himself. Well, I'm sure if you gave Brian Danielson a broom and they allowed Danielson to wrestle a broom, he could probably win the gold as well. But I'm thinking the person that he should wrestle is Seth Rollins. And I know Seth Rollins is a very good wrestler, but I know that he's been held back a little bit from the current style that he wrestles. I think given the opportunity, Seth Rollins could get back to that old ROH style that he used to wrestle, and we could see him and Danielson take home the gold in the men's single. On to the Team USA Women's Singles Division. My number one pick for my women's division is going to be Bianca Belair. She is strong. She has athletic. She is very capable in the ring. She's shown to be a very good wrestler, so much so the WWE t teamed her up with Jade Cargill so she could get Jade a little more familiar with WWE. That is a vote of confidence. That is showing that Bianca Belair is most definitely the rock I want to build my women's Olympic wrestling team around. But who's going to be Bianca's partner? That really comes down to how I want to structure our matches as the coach, I guess, of Team USA. Do we want to go a power route and have two very strong women wrestle each other, which would be a clash of styles from how other wrestling is done around the world, especially women's wrestling? Look at Japan. They're going to have a more Joshi style of wrestling. I would assume that those are the delegates that they're going to send over. So do we, as the American Pro Wrestling Federation, say, do we do that? Do we try to emulate their style or we try to do something different? And I think we do something different, and that's why I am choosing Jordan Grace. I think we show the power and the strength of these two women as opposed to more of the acrobatics that the women will probably be shown throughout the competition. Give me the hoss fight of the century. Jordan Grace versus Bianca Belair, two women who are incredibly strong, and I want to see Bianca Belair uh, press slam uh, Jordan Grace. That'd be great. For our tag team division, I'm going FTR. I'm going two men's tag teams here. And the first one is FTR. They eat, breathe, and sleep tag team wrestling. There's no better mind for tag team wrestling than FTR. They're obviously going to be on that team. But who do you put FTR up against? I think you put them against arguably one of the best tag teams of all times. I think you put them against the Young Bucks. I know that there is going to be this knee-jerk reaction that people say, oh, Young Bucks don't sell. Yeah, they do. You just watch too much Jim Cornette, and you get told your feelings on pro wrestling. Watch pro wrestling yourself. Make up your own decisions. Make up your own mind. I think that these two tag teams have some of the best chemistry of American tag teams going right now. So I'm going to say the Young Bucks and FTR as our tag team 
wrestling. But who are those other countries that really could be a thorn in America's side, especially in the men's singles wrestling division? I think it's jolly old England with Mr. Brov himself, Will Ospreay, and Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, that's a technical match. That is a very technical match with a lot of high flying and hard hitting. I think the Brits may have us. I, I think it's going to be a tough one. I think Danielson and Rollins have their work cut out for them with Zack Sabre Jr. and Will Ospreay. But I think that that is a great selection for Team England, United Kingdom. Is it United Kingdom or is it England? How do they... How do they identify in these games somebody let me know in the comments um yeah also let me know because this is the team england or united kingdom's women's side too is going to be jamie hater i think jamie hater is phenomenal out of aew and somebody i didn't know was born in england new wwe star Mary Gold standout, former stardom champion Julia. That Julia yeah she's apparently born in england has english citizenship so that's going to be tough. Bianca Belair and Jordan Grace, you definitely have a hell of a match cut out for you. Jamie Hayter and Julia for Team England's women's division is out of control. Also, what's out of control is Canada's men's division. Kenny Omega and Speedball Mike Bailey. Oh, do you want to watch two dudes wrestle at 200 miles per hour while being pinpoint precise? Cool. Good luck. I could be swayed for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn as well in the men's singles because I think they're both immensely talented, and those two guys just, they click. Like, they, they're they destined to do this forever, whether it's them in ROH, whether it's NXT, on the main roster of WWE. Those two guys can absolutely go, but I'm just looking. I think Kenny Omega and Speedball Mike Bailey edge them out just because we're talking strictly in ring. I'm not saying Sammy and KO can't go. I'm saying that Speedball Mike Bailey and Kenny Omega wrestle a more aggressive, more fast-paced style, which I ultimately think the judges would like more. Team Canada's women's division is like sneaky good as well. We have Natty Nightheart and Candice LeRae. Natty has like quietly just been one of the best women's wrestlers in WWE for a long time. And Candice LeRae has been one of the best indie women's wrestlers of all time. Put those two together and I think you got a recipe for some metal. Shout out Australian Mike. We're heading down under to the land of the dingo in the wallaby. I think in Foster's Beer. And uh, uh, Wolverine. Yeah, he's from there. Anyways, uh, Rhea Ripley and Tony Storm as the women's uh, delegation from Australia is actually really good. So put Tony Storm, Rhea Ripley, let the magic happen. They're going to give the women's division singles a, a run for their money. That's how pro wrestling would work in the Olympics and some of the people I think who would represent their country. Thank you so much for watching this and everything at Suplex Media. Consider throwing us a subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. Who would you have represent your country in the men's, women's, and tag division of wrestling at the Olympics? Let me know who would be gold, silver, bronze, in each one of the categories. I want to hear from you. I love having these discussions with our community in the comments. Every comment you make goes directly to my phone, and I read it. I read every single comment. I'm like, oh, okay, that's a good comment. I'm going to write back to this person. I want to have wrestling discussions with you, so make sure you comment. Remember, pro wrestling is predetermined. Your life isn't. Go do something great today. We'll see you next time.